Okay, so listen, 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 listen. I was in my travels, in my travels, and I was reminded why I just don't particularly favor lunch at a supermarket. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks so much for watching and clicking on this video. Here we go with a bit of, this is a weird one, because this is a bit of a story time, as well as an in my travels situation. Cringeworthy, cringeworthy. Let me show you. I was out shopping. I was grocery shopping, okay? And let me... I'm just going to show you. I'm going to show you the video. I had to take a video because was, I was minding my business and minding everybody else's business at the same time. But this is what I saw. Look at this. Okay, so here we go up here at the Big Bird, honey, at the Giant Eagle, honey. Somebody then just break out and just went ahead and had them some chicken and then just threw the bones and the thing and kept on pushing just trifling like i said trifling trifling so you just decided while you were shopping you was going to eat up a little chicken and then you're going to discard the bones over in the juice aisle? Which trifling ass? Really? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you about this. See, I'm in Pittsburgh. I'm in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And our Giant Eagle, Giant Eagles, they actually sell rotisserie chicken. They sell fried chicken. They sell uh, sub sandwiches and, and a lot of other little things. But, you know, you actually can get them and then you pay for them as you're exiting the store. See, I ain't never been one for when I anytime I see somebody walking through a grocery store eating. My radar goes up and I'll be looking at them like. You paying for that? You need to be paying for that. It's just, listen, I know you didn't know, you didn't miss this melanated skin I got going on here. People have a tendency to, to watch us in stores anyway. So I'm never one to draw atten ah, unnecessary attention to me, you know. I, I got my own situations where people be paying attention to me where I ain't asked them to pay attention to me, okay? Some things that I can't turn off and don't choose to turn off. But I don't need nobody looking at me or following me around in no store for reasons that are unnecessary. Such as eating the shit in the store while you walking around shopping. Because you literally haven't paid for it. So you really shouldn't be eating it. Especially not prepared for You in there munching down. And then was chicken legs. You in there munching down on chicken leg. And listen. Would have been the first person to snap out and been all on the news. If somebody had questioned them. Or said something to them. But do you think you were right? I don't know if the person actually paid for the chicken when they were done. They probably didn't. Yeah, they ate it the hell on up by that point. But you thought it was it was good etiquette to, to chew it up and then throw it over there in the aisle in the midst of, we're, we're still in the midst of pandemic. We're still in the midst of pandemic. Don't, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. Because you should have had your mask on while you were in the store. So it was beyond me 
running around in the store chewing on a chicken leg, that meant you had no mask on either. And if you think Auntie Rona ain't still lurking around ready to jump in your pocket, you're crazy. She gonna have to be real slick and sneaky to get me. I ain't sitting around playing them games and walking around eating and chewing on chicken and then leaving the chicken that you done chewed on up on the shelves up near some other stuff. You're not helping. You're not helping what we got going on as a people. You're not helping. You're not helping at all. And I don't even know if there was, and I don't know if the person was black or white. I live in a very white town, honey. Listen, let me tell you something. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania is very much more Caucasian than it is black, okay? Very much more Caucasian. I don't know what color a person, and I don't care. I don't give a damn which color it was. It was a person with no mask on, gnawing on a goddamn chicken bone, and throwing the chicken bone over there, and I just take for granted that everybody got, got COVID. So now I don't want to be over there picking up juice over by where you done gnawed on a chicken leg. Nasty. Anyway, but here's the thing with the story time, the little story time. When I, when I was going through all this, it brought me back to a time where I, I learned and I decided I don't really let people go to the grocery store with me. You know how you be around and your neighbors say, oh, can I get a ride with you to the grocery store? I don't need you to pick up no ride with me to no grocery store. If you want something, I could pick it up for you and bring it back, but I don't need you with me down to the grocers. Because I don't know how you shop. And the way you shop may be different than the way I shop. You understand? Okay? So, I'm going to tell y'all two. I'm going to tell y'all two stories. Earlier on, I had actually went on and I goes ahead and um, we talk about folks with sticky fingers, okay? And it's, it's a family member, their mother, you know, we're in the store and they're doing their thing. I'm doing my thing. And then we leave the store. This heifer says, oh yeah, she's going all through her bra and going out of her purse and all of this. She got all these Kool-Aid and small items. Kool-Aid. Um, you know, the McCormick powders like you use for, for like spaghetti and meatloaf, the seasoning packs. You know, them seasoning packs can be upwards of like four or six dollars. She pulling them all out of her bra, sloppy jail, all this stuff out of her bra and stuff. And then this heifer sits over there and says, oh, baby, no, I don't pay for that little stuff like that. I don't pay for that stuff. First of all, no shade, sis, but she was using food stamps. So you didn't pay for shit, okay? You didn't pay for shit. Everybody else paid for it. You ain't pay for shit. You use the food stamps and you're still stealing. Because that's stealing. That's stealing. Stealing. You sticky finger. So I was really disgusted with that. And the fact that you're speaking on it because you felt justified in stealing these people's things. Really? I don't pay for little stuff like that. Why? Why? What makes you different? What makes you different? And I bet you when they get you down there to 200 Ross Street, Pittsburgh, PA 15222, they'll show you that you're no different. About $20, $30 worth of Kool-Aid and, and seasoning packets in your teddy. They'll show you that you're not different than anybody else and that you need to pay for that stuff. How dare you? A mess. So that was one thing, okay? And that was earlier on. I was probably in my 
I'll say in my 30s. In my third, late 20s, early 30s. Yeah, late 20s, early 30s. And I was just like, you know what? I, I, see, I can't be caught up in no foolishness. That's just not how my life, my life is not like that. That's not the life I live. I can't be jammed up with your bullshit. I just can't. That's not the kind of life I live. See, and when things go down, so you have a, a, a titty full of, because you know, she could have upwards of 40 to $50 worth of shit in her titty. That little powder stuff, because that stuff, that's why you didn't didn't pay for it, because that stuff adds up. But it adds up for all of us, not just you. They snatch you coming out the store, we all together, we all get pulled. See, I ain't great being bears being pulled to the back room of no grocery store about no meatloaf seasoning packet in your titty. That's ridiculous. See, I, I can't, mm -mm. So I was like, no, I ain't, I, I just ain't feeling that. So I said, mm mm. I don't know who else feel like this, but you felt like it was right. And you're the same age as my mother. So what I'm going to do is when I go to the grocery store, that's going to be a, a me and me. If that, that's it, me and me. I don't need nobody else to go with me. If um, you need so I can bring it back for you. But I mm -mm, ain't no room anyway. I'm buying too many. You know, I was always my, th I'm buying too many grocery store. I ain't got no room for yours in my own child. Mm-mm. Okay, so here's the last one before I get out of here. I know y'all been asking me for story times, and I told y'all it only comes. Sto my story times, and I say this all the time, I don't make up stuff. So I can only do a story time when something comes to me or something actually happens or something jars me into, you know, a deja vu and something comes up because I didn't even plan to tell y'all this story here. I plan to tell y'all about that the seasoning package, but this little piece right here, I'm going to go ahead and share this. I had no intention. This is actually, it's another sticky finger story. Mm -hmm. Sticky finger story. But um, it wasn't at the grocery store. This was actually at a craft store, okay? So, at this time, I had my, my youngest boy with me, and, you know, he just, he's a kid. He's small. He had to be what? Oh, how old was that boy at the time? Probably seven. Probably seven. Six or no, seven. Probably seven. About seven. Yeah, about seven. Because I think he was in the first grade at the time. So I have him. He's used to being in the craft store. You know, used to. He you know how to act and all that. And then I have a neighbor. Okay. Oh yeah, I'll just ride out to the mall with you. Okay, no problem, girl. Now, this child don't do no crafting. So, while you're going through the store, in the craft store, you know there's all kind of things. Like, if you are, you know, you have a house or an apartment, you find something in there, so ain't no big deal. We had done all the other little stuff, you know, that um, we were going to do. Um, you know, on our journeys. And I just had to stop at the craft store to get some things. And it was so weird. I'm in this aisle looking at rhinestones and stuff and I'm pulling stuff down. I'm doing this, that, and the other. And my boy says, Daddy, I said, what? You know, there are cameras all over the place in here. <laughs> it's a seven-year-old. There are cameras all over the place in here. That's him. Very on it, okay? I said, okay. And you know, the cameras, they're there, but they're not like, bam, here, here's a camera. So I was like, yeah. I said, yeah, there's cameras. I said, that's, um, I had to stop and explain. I said, you know, that's really so that if people are taking things or anything like that, then they can see it. You know, they're watching. They're watching their stuff to make sure people, he's like, oh, okay. And that was that. And then I look over at the neighbor. Now she's empty in her pockets. So perfect. Let me put this up for y'all. Something that people always say, a little cliche. Out of the mouths of babes. Girlfriend went to un unloading her pockets. She got all these people shit in her pocket. Excuse me, ma'am. What is you stealing rhinestones? And 
You don't even know how to put them on. You don't, you don't need, I, child, when I got in that car, when I tell you I let her have it, and I said, I got, I guess when I go shopping, I'll just go shopping alone, honey. I can't, mm mm. Did you you in here just taking stuff? What what are you taking these people's things for? You don't craft. You don't make anything. You don't even know how to put those things on that you was taking. You just taking it because it just was there and you, it was small and you could get it in your pocket. She was so nervous. She said, oh, you know, I'm so glad he said so. She said, when he said it, I just, I didn't even see the damn cameras. She said, oh, he be seeing everything. Yes, little people see everything. And thank God they speak on it because you might have been taking a trip to the back and we'd end up going with you. Do you know how embarrassing that would have been? I shop there all the time. They know me. I was appalled. Appalled. So I say that to say this. I don't like lunch at grocery stores. And when I see people having lunch at grocery stores, it makes my radar go up and up. So I don't know. I, I probably could get me a good job as a shopper, huh? Walk around the store, honey, catching people. Put it back. Put it back. I probably would be good at that. Anyway, a personal shopper. That's what they call them, personal shoppers. I probably could be real good at that. You know, I would tear them up too. Put that shit back. <laughs> One of the dang old commandments. Stop stealing. Anyway, listen, I love y'all. I'll see y'all later. No, y'all can't go to the store with me, but I'll see y'all later though. <laughs> Bye.